Hello people, this is Indivil, welcome to Rooktuk. We just come out from the last super heavy mission. We've learned something in that last one, and it's that a great Valkyrie apparently can field um, society mechs, which is good. Let's be frank about it. We got some 13 days to get to the next research planet, but that's a mega city one we don't want to get there. So instead we take the 15 days, I guess that's 16, that's 15. We've been to all those, so it's not really uh, a thing to get to one or the other, it's just about travel time here and repairs, so there you go. Diester done, voucher done. So I guess we have everyone but the... Um, I'll get to it, don't worry. But the Hyperion done and we really want to get the Conquistador back to its former glory. Now that we have the means, might as well do so. MMS out. MRM60 in. We take MMS out. We have to be a bit aware of heat. But I guess we're mostly good. We go for ammo MRM. So we want acid. We want acid. Mm, looks like we'll be running into slot trouble here. A bit of improved. Mm, we don't have incendiary here, but I guess the point is to get... We don't have Apollo, neither, for some reason. But I guess this is good. We bring... So that's 400, 800. That's more than enough to do what we have to do here. So we just want... Just wonder what to do with that last one. Well, there's a way. But I want the accuracy. We need the accuracy here. So I guess we're taking out an ear medium. And we keep the MRMs to ten salvos. Uh, so that don't worry guys, we'll get there. We can put a plus two engine heat sink and this should be us getting good here. So I think that's how we want to do it here. Bit of improved, lots of acid. The most important part of the, M of the MRM-60 is the acid, which we were lacking at this moment. And we just take a look at Lerm Ammo. Uh, we still don't have Tycoon, do we? Not really. So we just keep it like this. We want to be able to shoot uh, Artemis here, so it's no use. Um, putting the Mark II in this one, but I think you're the one. No, you bring AMS to your head, so it's the vulture. 
we want to outfit so we go into the vulture we'll get there sorry guys uh, here you are and instead of everything you have on your head which is not much let's be honest just get that shiny beautiful DNA mark 2 this gets us a bit overweight nothing that can't be and I know this should be more than enough we do have a lot of heat sinking now so I guess mm, nope what I really want to do here I guess is this it's a bit worse in terms of heat management but it still gets the job done we even can do this and in this way we're able to get one of the double heat sinks back actually both of them nope not really not both Well, with the last stone, we go looking for not a big o. I guess might be a nova. Get angel out. We get nova in. We have one more slot, which means we're able to get you back in and we're able to just get a bit more armor I guess and we do it like this yeah it's taking a bit of money to set ferro but I think we're going to benefit so much from the mark 2 here and what I also want to do, I guess, is get to the Hami and take a look at our options here. I think we're not able to mount. We'll see it. Just go see what we're able to do because we have two Supras. So that's one. That's two. Yeah, I know. Heat. I'm working on that. Take one prototype off. And we just put laser insulator here. And another one here. we able to get to yeah we are so yeah well we'll get that just take the c3 out and get another oh we don't have another laser insulator so we might want to get half a ton somehow And we're good, just like this. Okay, turns out it's better left like this. So, yeah. We have a bit more range like this. We lose a bit on the 
Not really. I think we're in quite bad shape just by doing this. Uh, we might even want to... That's a 4-6. But it's going to be slots, what we're lacking here going on. But when we get more battle computers, especially the headshot one, we'll be swapping this out a bit as well, I guess. Because we really can't do stuff with this one. But I guess we'd have to get two battle computers, which might not be dual headshot ones, I mean. So, without any further ado, we just get going. We got what we wanted. And Hyperion is back on track. We just go to the med bay in case there was a crit we didn't see, but it shouldn't be the case. We should be all right to get back into the job here. That reminds me though. We might as well go for one second into storage. Yeah, no crits to be had here. Just in case I've missed something, but doesn't look like this looks all good. We still have the Black Widow playing around, but it would take three millions just to get it in fighting state we continue we've already seen the shop here it was quite underwhelming so let's see those contracts hopefully there's something to be had nope not really let's see money not seeing anything at all so we take our time to just go into missions where we get a better standing with Bulkiriet because we're going to there's two ways of approaching this we either try and get on their good side or we balance out the fact that we're going to punch them uh, either one works so well, we're quite more expensive to drop right now I think this was at 800,000 not that long ago still just taking the time to make a small cut here because I'm not anticipating this battle lasting too much so we might be able to go for double mission here. I'll be back in a second. So, here we are. Let's see what we see when we get there. I actually didn't even look who we're going against. Okay, no information on where they are. But they look to be somewhere around here. So... It would not be the worst to actually set on high ground around them. Okay, we got everything in for some reason. It wasn't detecting some, some of my clicks. And yeah, they are there in the cavity alright. We've seen something. It's a vehicle, a beetle. We're grateful for that. Plenty of beetles to be seen. Commander. So we're grateful for that. We actually could use some more beetle parts. That's why. So we're waiting for a bit. Might be that they have some other beetles. And they do, it's just this one laying things. Don't move too far, I'm very keen on just going for you. Oh, that's a beautiful boy. We don't bring 
airburst into this one. So we're waiting. Let him come. I'll be waiting. Yarcha. Oh, you're just the direct line of sight one. So yeah, why not? At this point, well, we have to be aware of what they bring as support for the 2v2, so I guess we're waiting. <laughs> that would be bad, just stepping here just to find some super heavy or whatnot uh, just before us. That's a bit of splash, we can deal with that. Yeah, it went a lot into our clustered max, but still, we're mostly good. So, we see what the last one is. And we get going from here. No direct line to be hard with the carrier. So, we just move normally. And see what the airburst chances are. They're not specially good, so we're waiting. Yeah. Seth can get in. Alright, this way we also get to see what we have on the low ground. Confirmed. And we're seeing a raptor and a warhawk. That's scary, yeah, but we can deal. So, yeah, we have the efforts to deal with. We'd much rather get going on these things. Just getting the daisy cutters ready for next turn. And just like that, we warlord these because we want a bit better hit chains. We actually missed everything and the tandems got hidden. Which means this is the mark 2. Isn't it? So we go hunting for line of sight. Sadly, none to be had. You actually maneuvered yourself pretty decently. Let's see if you're able to deal with some. Yeah, that's a bit worse chance than with Artemis, but... You're panicked, you should be. So... They actually position themselves in... a quite interesting way. Still, there was... Even if it's obstructed, there was some line of sight to be had here. Just eat this. Let's see if your AMS can deal with the 60 MRMs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was kind of expecting that. The star will also go for the... Okay, and right now we're mostly interested in keeping the Warhawk shut down, so there's Inferno for you, mister. Mm -hmm. Should help for next turn, so... We're also in range here, so why not? This might be the Raptor off completely, but I think we also want the Ifrit to eat some acid. And that's just the King Crab. But we engage the Supercharger, we might be good to go for this one. Not the best Hitchens, but still. He's panicked, alright. So, there you go. 
I thought we had line of sight somehow to him. We do. Accelerating to maximum speed. So, do we want to try this? Yeah, I guess he's slow enough to just go for it. Confirmed. And we have initiative, which means he's done. There's no ifs and buts here. Go All here, right, and we just sensor lock him for good measure. Got a lock. And go with Artemis and Sam. Yep. Sam off. has a bit better pitchings than Artemis here. And that's you, boom. Just like that. We don't ha want anything to do with you, and we get ready to get the Diastar in position. Well, you know, there's you to be had. We give a bit better sensors to our friends, and we just get going with it. I know, not the best hitchings, but a 26 should be good enough if you're shooting 80, well not 80, 90 tubes here. Hyperion actually can't get in position, which means Baba Mr. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Get to shoot the set. It's okay. Your hit should be through the roof now. And you just blow up, just like this. Mission successful. So yeah, as I said, not the longest mission here. We should just should have some two days repairs and we're good to go here. Because we actually got some damage to our mechs. <laughs> I'm expecting damage on every one of them. Because we got some splash by the Raptors MMLs. So it's not much, but it's a bit of damage on every mech. So there you go. Uh, you want two parts? Yeah, sure. Have it. We're not picking the Warhawk anyway. So. Let's see what we can do here. Not much to be had. So I guess... But we sold everything at under 50 tons, so this would be the first ones again. And we're not using, well, we already have an infrared. So I guess we're taking an advanced AMS and an AMS Mark II here. That's something. We get one part of the Warhawk anyway. One heavy peep. This is the World of Plague variant. We keep it, medium expos, SRM we're selling, slick we're selling, supercharger is good to have, we had when the, gone down to just two, so we keep some in stock because sometimes uh, we just forget about it, especially when going with the B team, and yeah, we blow them, we've already had it quite a few times most ridiculous time was that one where um, Giza, I think it was, blew the supercharger just by looking at it. And just when disconnecting it, ah, that was glorious, I guess. It was on the first five missions after we got the Archer 5S, I guess. 
Yeah, just one day repairs. I was just one neck, the Hyperion. So that's it. We're ready. And without further ado, we just get back in. We go not to make pay. Come on in the world. Not to barracks. Okay. Looks like I intend to make this a bit longer than needed. We get here and we get looking for another 211 mission, two lances. Uh, that's local government, that's pirates, that's pirates, and it might be only one lance. So we're facing, we're getting the sand rep, whatever we do. So no need to go for two lances if there might only be one so you people get out i actually want to get on with a different set of max though so i guess we just bring the warhammer here and we bring the bounty hunter here that's still good in terms of tonnage so we get witness here we get paradise on the dire star we get can't really remember who was on the conquistador yeah we're having trouble like that sometimes. Yeah, you are the Conquistador pilot. Doesn't really matter who goes on the Vulture. I think we've got no affinities at this point. You're avatar trained. I guess we can take you here. Uh, we've got vehicle pilots. Beagle can get into a uh, vehicle. Would be a good way to get him going, but I guess it's not meant to be so we keep him training for a bit you have warhammer affinities and the rest is just whatever i guess so oh no we're not bringing the punchy on just for a second i thought i was doing stuff wrongly so popo has archer training and tanin has avatar training there we go i'm just going to make a small cut until we get there could as well have cut this pilot selection as well but oh well you know me sometimes can't get my mind to actually register what it's thinking so there we go see you in a second so everything ready let's see Command interface initiated. so they're down then though okay yeah you're not getting that in time my friends not really Uh, we could set shop here, wouldn't be the worst, but they're actually on the other side, so I guess we just take the high ground here and play the long range game. Well, actually, could have gotten a bit nearer, but... I guess it's going to take a bit more than expected. So that's the Hami. On the way. That's the Archer. Position confirmed. That's the Avatar. Location confirmed. That's the Five S. Onward. That's the Bounty Hunter. And we have contact. 
just like this. We go here. And keep out of line of sight with you. Same here. Karia also doesn't want to engage directly and just like that we engage the jet booster and we get going we can get four that's good we have we're seeing something down here so there we go as well with you and just like that, we set for the next turn. So, they got initiative on us, which means there must be a Zeus around. We see it now. Well, a Zeus or a Command Mech, obviously. Uh, we don't see what they're bringing because our friends are moving, but... Okay. Argent Leviathan, you sound scary, but you're not going to have the range on us, you're mostly short range. Well, short, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's a clan marauder. You're bringing a bit of... yeah, it's just an Apollo, nothing too worrying or too crazy. And I think... We want to give you a bad surprise, my man. We're seeing a ghost as well. Yeah, not the most intimidating enemies here. So, yeah, we just erase you from existence. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I know Rogue, but let's see what the Marada does. This Ultra 5 could do some damage, but mostly on our flyers, so we don't have to be that worried. The Leviathan, yeah, the large explosives, but it's not really that bad. I guess we could have taken a bit less things. Yeah, that's the large explosives. They hurt, but they're not something to be overtly afraid about. So, there you go. Someone in sensor lock range. Yeah. So, he should. He's bringing a bit of AMS. We're going to bypass it, alright. So, you two are pretty clustered up, which means, yeah, you guessed it right, people, Inferno shenanigans on them. You can get places, and we do, why not? That's 55. What if we offensive push? Uh, if we go with range, but we're able to go with range anyway. I guess I'm taking the offensive push. That's a bit of torso. You just get going, girl. I want to get places with you next turn. Oh, that's King's Wolf. Sorry. For some reason I thought it was Rogue again. We're good to shoot missiles now. I'm out of SRM. I await your command. So, you're not in range. Nor will be for a bit of time. So we just engage supercharger and get going down. We just get into forest because it's really not that different. Yes, Commander. And we have the tire star. And getting the tire star here means we're good. So, yeah, he's protected and whatnot. 
That's a bit of flash. Commander. And you are also good. Understood. Moving fast. To just shoot Inferno. On the Marado. Yeah, not the best hit scenes, but we've already established mortar. Especially Inferno doesn't need a hit chance. So, we keep going. Got places to be, things to shoot. It's a bit better on the King Crab, so we shoot him. It's a bit of hit on him. And the carrier just casually as we just landed some of the plasma shots goes for a bit of inferno on the Argent Leviathan we already got him open and <laughs> we're seeing some explosions already so I guess you're in deep trouble my friend ghost should move now it's quite um, fast and yeah, I guess the Arjun uh, Leviathan is a command mech. Because otherwise, it doesn't make sense that they have such high initiative here. Still, the efforts are not getting there in time. And we're mostly good to do whatever we want. Morada is going to shoot one of our vitals, I guess. Well, he's welcome to... No, it's just we've just done too much to its heat right, sinking capacity, move. but for the moment I'll just take the Argent Leviathan, that's an X pulse gun. A large one. So there you go. And just like that no we get into range with you. We do have incendiary here, so why not? Should help. That's I think things are going. a lot of warnings for you, my friend. Lost evasion, and just like that. Let's see standard mode on the king crab. Yeah, that's much better. So there we go. I really don't even want to. Make a call shoot here. Moving to position. That's you. So we don't want to be On inside minimal range. We got cluster. So we're going for crits here. I actually didn't get any. But he's shooting you alright, so you can take a bit of a beating. And he just shuts down, just like this. So, we get going. We go to Marada. Yeah, he braced. Well, that wasn't impressive. That new bracing, man. That just didn't look that special to me. That's a lot of MRMs to be shooting, so nope. However, I think, yeah, we have to go for this one. That's Torso, brings his initiative down. That's too close. Okay. Okay, game. We want you on the ground. Well, you either are very squishy, my man, or we're dealing a lot more damage than I imagined. So, yeah, we keep going on the Marauder, but we use Guided now. That's the engine destroyed, alright. 
could be Santa Torso distraction as well, I guess. How might I help? Dire Star just goes for head here. And that's a cockpit. That's a kill. And all we got left he is a shutdown. Ghost, which is, isn't going to... Oh, he's not shut down. Okay. Let me help with that, I guess. Copy that, Commander. And that was a beautiful bully by the bounty hunter, by the way. This should be you on the ground. Just like that, the VTOLs are able to just pluck holes into him. And we are going from here. Yeah, they stole this skill from us, but. Mission successful. So let's see those tooth claws. I might actually regret destroying that torso here. Because there were two to be had, so yep. Oh well, for the next time we know. So we make a bit of money, and we get to see the loot table here. We look at you. Do you have? Homestar upgrade, large to driven by logistical problems. Two, 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 with functional clues. Okay, uh, there's actually four parts of it, but we can't gamble on getting him. We just have two peaks here, so we just go looking those tooth close if they're here to be had which apparently they are not so it might not be a lootable thing but that's weird i mean if there's four parts of it there should be a way to loot the tooth close maybe we got a, a through armor crit and destroyed them but that doesn't sound Likely. We got quite a bit of pro uh, blundles of prototype hit things, but I think I'm actually on a mission to get this thing. So we take two, we hope for a third one. Nope. Okay, I guess we have to wait until we get him another time. We get a light peep, which we're selling, and an all three we're selling. Uh, fire control improved at this point. It's not good. Guardian we keep. Hit things we're selling. Half tons we're not using. So there we go. Just two parts of a king creep and a guardian that we keep. And for next chapter, I guess we get to travel again because, well, there's no super heavy missions to be had here so might as well get going to our next objective i don't think we got any damage at all so it will just be fatigue time we have to get through before deploying again but as i said we probably want to get going on to the next planet here so a bit of war activity there shouldn't be any repairs at all to do there aren't it's 12 days until the next report but i think we're 10 days away from the nearest planet that might be the best course of action but that's something to be decided tomorrow uh, so without any further ado 
Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider leaving a rating and a comment. It helps spread the word. And if you just stumbled upon this and you're not subscribed, please do so. It's still free here. Might change in the future. We don't know. But right now, you can do it just like this. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye.